Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn the notifications on and while you're there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So today I thought we could discuss the subject of mania. What is mania? How does it affect someone? How can you help someone with mania? Mania occurs with two mental health conditions, schizoaffective uh, disorder which I'm diagnosed with and bipolar. Mania is a feeling of euphoria, excitement, irritability, anger. It can bring out a wide variety of emotions from anybody. Here are eight symptoms of mania. Feeling happy, elated, overjoyed. Number two, talking very quickly. Number three, being full of energy. Four, feeling self-important. Number five, full of great new ideas and having important plans. Easily distracted, being easily irritated or agitated, being delusional, having hallucinations and disturbed or illogical thinking. Mania is easily one of the hardest things I have to deal with as part of my schizoaffective disorder. It, it's got so many moving parts to it and at least there's such a big crash afterwards that it's just well terrifying. I live with mental illness is and the hardest one that I live with would have to be schizoaffective disorder because it causes so many different elements. Mania is one of the worst symptoms. Mania is a horrible thing to go through. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. My first ever manic episode was when I was 13 years old and in short it got me sectioned under the mental health act and I was put on antipsychotics. I've taken antipsychotics now for a long time and honestly I wouldn't be here without them. When I say medication changed my life it literally it saved my life. Mania is complicated. I know I've said that a lot in this video, but it's so true. Mania is honestly one of the hardest things I've ever been through. How to calm down mania. Take yourself, go to bed, even if you don't feel tired. Try to avoid alcohol and caffeine. Remember to try and eat regularly, even if you don't feel like it. Avoid stimulating activities. Do activities you find calming or soothing. So what's my experience of mania? My experience of mania has been where I go from being depressed, which is my usual where I am, to just my normal mindset, I'm genuinely speaking quite a depressed person. Mania makes me feel like I'm on top of the world. The thing is with mania, it never ends well. <laughs> because with mania, you go from being as high as you feel and as great as it feels to the pits and the dumps of depression. There always comes a crash point and when you hit it, it's the worst. It makes you suicidal, it makes you depressed, it makes you anxious, it makes you self-harm. And none of these are good things. Mania never ends well. You either end up sectioned in hospital or left to deal with it on your own or have your meds increased. So when people say, oh, I'm just a bit manic today, it, it doesn't mean what you think it means. It's not just a one day adventure. It, it lasts for weeks, sometimes months, and it's hard. I wouldn't recommend it. So yeah, these are just a few little things on mania that I wanted to talk about today. Let me know in the comments if you are experienced mania, if you have, how was it for you? Thank you for watching and if you are new make sure you hit the subscribe button, help me reach 7k. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.